Well, since everybody's been asking me, this is the solar array. Uh, these three panels here are the ones I built. This was the first one I built, second and third. Uh, so they make that 16 cells there, makes eight volts. 16 cells there, makes eight. 24 cells there, makes 12. So that's that part. Then I got the two 30 volt silicon panels here. These are commercial panels. They're 245 watts a piece. And they work pretty good. So uh, that's this side of it. Let's go to the back side and have a look. The back sides of the panels. As you'll notice, the stands I've made are not very complicated or anything. Nothing fancy or magical about. Just a little bunch of two by fours, a few two by fours on this one, and some two by threes, and uh, that's about it. Stands hold them up good, face the sun decently. And the sun is right above my head now, so they are they are just about where they got to be. I don't want to go into the sun with the camera, but it's about there. And anyway, that's about it. <clears throat> and then that. The juice comes from the panels and the two red wires across the ground into the back side of the The next part of the puzzle is the controller. <clears throat> As you see, this is a TriStar TriStar TS MPPT45 controller and that controls all the power. The leads come in, small ones in the uh, with the tire apps on, the leads coming in, the leads going out are the bigger ones. And there is a serial cable tied in there so as I can look at it on uh, real time on the serial cable. And up here, I got the uh, metering panel for it. And what the metering panel tells me is what is going on with the, uh, with the controller. I didn't put the metering panel on because it would uh, be too damn hard to uh, twist around there. So when I want to look at it, I just take the take the metering panel off, put it down the table and there I go, I can read it but uh, that's your little metering panel tells you all that's going on with it right now even though you can't see it, the voltage is 13.7 I'm charging at 14.2 amps on a, on a cloudy day and so far this morning I've made 73.2 ampere hours so that's that part of it Next thing we're going to do is take a look at the storage uh, capabilities that I have here in the trailer and uh, got a few batteries, <laughs> just a few, but uh, they save all the power and uh, make it good so as I can have power overnight and whatever. Here we go. I've got a couple of battery banks here, actually three battery banks. This is the one you saw when I had all the batteries strapped up at the apartment. There are eight batteries in this one eight batteries in this one. They're all hooked together parallel <clears throat> 12 volts and uh, the center one there is where that's basically the uh, the tie point. I come up from the top I come down to the third one tie everything there I come from the bottom two tie everything there and then there's a couple more here on the side one two three more on the side so that's eight batteries total in that one again all hooked in parallel all hooked together and put onto the bus lot number two is some small batteries smaller than the other ones these are 30 amp hours a piece there's five of them under there and they're all hooked into it and go to the uh, main bus also so that's that part of it that's uh, bank number two of the battery the third, bank of bat the third bank of batteries, we decided to add a little color to it. So we got four golf cart batteries. They're six volts a piece, and they're strapped together, two sixes, to give 12 volts. And uh, then I have the interstate one there. That's just uh, one I bought. So I uh, hooked them all up together in parallel. And the two big thick wires are number two watt welding cable and that goes over to the other bank and is hooked to that. So the bank, the first bank there is the master bank. This is the, this is bank number three. 
and they are they are nice batteries they are very nice batteries and they work well I've only had them in for a day now well this is the second day they've been on put them on Friday night and uh, the voltage last night only went down to 13 as opposed to 12.6 12.7 so this is holding the whole thing much less drain on everything so that's the battery bank there there we are looking at the inverters they're uh, Mastercraft 1000 watt inverters sine wave inverters there's two of them the top one powers uh, everything in the trailer with the exception of the fridge uh, the bottom one is for the fridge only and uh, it works pretty darn good and the wire size I have going to them is I've got number two going to the top one and uh, spliced on number uh, spliced on the number twos and with number four and have number fours going to the bottom one so it's quite a bit of juice but it's lots it makes it all work I'm happy with it you know uh, it saves me the gas and the generators and everything but the system works good. It actually it powers it powers everything in the trailer.